Hello everyone and welcome to another one of my videos. Today is going to be an update on my Fidelia Megacephala. So, first things first, uh, I gave this colony a new nest. I didn't record me, you know, uh, connecting up this nest because I was in a hurry to get the nest, you know, connected. The nest is made out of a small acrylic box uh, with UltraCal. For a while I didn't know what to call the nest, so I just decided to, you know, copy a nest name that's already been given to a nest, but give my own spin on it. So I decided to call the nest the Formicubium. Here you can see workers exploring the Formicubium when I first connected it. I decided to actually record some video of it uh, just after I connected it, but I soon noticed that there was a crack in the acrylic that they could get through, so I very quickly fixed that. So this colony has been eating about six or seven mealworms every single day alongside some honey and the occasional seed. Uh, the Megacephala have at least uh, seven, 600 to 700 workers, and once they fill both nests, I'm going to be giving them a new nest uh, that I very cleverly named the Formiboxium 2. I'm hoping that by then they're going to produce queens, but I guess we won't know until uh, that time comes. Uh, from the looks of it, they're eating a lot, and their brood is insane. Here's the uh, form of Boxium. Uh, as you can see, it is only really holding workers right now alongside some larvae. Uh, I think it's because the hydration in the form of Boxium is, isn't exactly the best, and they're probably just used to using the older nest over the newer nest that was just given to them a day ago. Uh, before this, uh, before I shined the light on it and I took a little bit of a break, they had a bunch of pupae in here, which shows that this is probably going to become a big pupae chamber in the near future. You can also see they brought in a few mealworms here uh, to be processed, which is a good sign. That means that they're probably going to be warming up to this nest very quickly. Uh, the nest is also mostly inhabited by majors, which I found was very... Uh, interesting. I wonder why that is. Uh, probably because the uh, it's too they're too big for the other nest. This is the former squarium from the outside view, uh, not you know macro lens or anything like that. Uh, you can see it's pretty packed with majors. As I said, I wonder why that is. Uh, it's probably just because they are a little bit they're too big and they're trying to save room in the uh, petri dish, so they put all the majors in this nest for now. Uh, just a outside view. That's pretty much all this is. And here is the big, uh, the petri dish nest they've been living in for a while now. Uh, you can see a lot of pupae and some larvae as well. Uh, I'm absolutely blown away by this growth. I've never had a Fidelity species grow like this. Uh, it's, it's insane just how the absolute magnitude of brood inside of this nest. Uh, in the macro footage here, you can see the uh, the larvae pile is very large, uh, way larger than last time uh, I recorded the video, the uh, this colony. You can also see a lot of majors in here as well, but it's mostly minors, so I think my, uh, my, my what is it called, my hypothesis is correct. <laughs> That is pretty much all I have for this video. Uh, thank you for watching. Um, subscribe if you want. Uh, I don't really care if you do or not. Uh, like if you liked it. Dislike it if you hated it. Uh, see you in the next video, I guess.